learned a little something for my troubles. It's all about playing, playing games, having fun, and having a laugh with you guys. That's all I'm about, really. Can I get anything, any goodies in here? Oh, that's the oil boy. Come on. How right am I from Red Dead 2? That's the reason I'm playing this. <laughs> I was like, yes, I want I want Red Dead 2. I think probably Red Dead 2 and Battlefield 5 are the main big ones, but Spider-Man uh, is also up there. Tomb Raider. Come on. Doom. I helped out there. Oh, save the Come on. There's much treasure here. You want map? I retire. Here, take map. You earn it. I'll happily take this off your hands, my friend. Excuse me, mister. Back on track. Was was that was that on PC the Doom the Doom uh, was that a PC gameplay? I only saw like a brief. I didn't see the whole uh, announcement. I just saw a little bit of the gameplay. But it looked, it looked mental. That reminds me. I've still I've still finished Doom VR. Hold up courage for that one. <laughs> really hope uh, Rockstar wants to just a lot of new animals. I would think so. Hey, GT. It is when you're in, 
It is when you when they're coming right up to your face. For me anyway. And if they do the Exorcist game as well. Oh, uh, I don't know if they've been patched yet. Save the boy. What are you doing? This is my gym, Mister. Come on. Why am I wondering? I was trying to save the boy. I have played this oh shit uh, on the 360 but when you when you reload it back into the Xbox One it uh, starts from the beginning again. But I've never finished it. Sir, you need help? Mister, you alive? Fuck, fuck. God damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get it down. St. Peter, open up the pearly gates! I'm coming home! Oh. <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. Oh. 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 Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. Hi, Peyton. How are you? You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm finished! Done for! Just sit up straight, will you? The closest doctor is in Armadillo! We're on our way to Armadillo. Oh! The coward! I implore you to peace! They are the road! What is your name, friend? LT's a toy up while driving. Good God! I'm a frying pan into the fire! Excuse me! How many outlaws can a man encounter in one way? You must have me mistaken with somebody else. <coughs> Peyton's else. full of thank you very much. High five. So awesome. Shit bolt! My God! They've come back and finished me off! Please! There's no time to lose! We must hurry! Is Do you want to die? Praise me! What the hell happened to you? Bandits, hoodlums, the scoundrels brought me flying and left me to die. I can see that. Once again, a victim of my own success. They see a man in a well-cut suit and this happens. Do you know who they were? No idea. I'm not the kind of man who has enemies. You do now. I can give so much, still they take. We live in an uncivilized and graceless world, friend. Our makers put us in humor sometimes. Still, at least I met you. The good Samaritan oh, shit, with clothes. Please forgive me. Please play rare habit with my metaphors. Please drive carefully. Every pump is like getting struck by lightning. That moment, old man, it'd be fine. Just sit and save some of your breath and breathe. They're still coming! I knew this 
Seriously considering quitting my sir. job and hardly through the launches. Some people take a week off for a holidays. Coming from you, I doubt that means much. I can't do that though. I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Uh, Jesus! But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for for let's get you fixed up first. Like the beers. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. Stifler's mom has got it going on. That's the one, huh? It's nice, those wounds will take some time to heal. Blah, 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 blah. Hold on, you Unpaid bounty on your head from earlier times. Pay it off. When the football world cup, a lot more divorces during that period. Hi, Melly. How are you? Right. Our lady, lady in distress. Oh, they took my boy, my boy. Who did? He's missing. He's only a youngster. My boy is missing. Where? Who took him? Them people in the hills. Them hills near Hanging Rock. They took him. <laughs> can't the police force help you? No. They can't even help themselves. Please, sir. My son is missing. I need your help. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. Hanging Rock. Same. Uh, your money from the cruise, all your holidays will be out. Uh, yeah, Karen would agree with you there, I think. reading comments Oh, 
my balls. Oh, there we Okay, still, still going to search for him. Bugger, I'm going. I'm going to Evening. Hello. Pussy bunny. Easy, partner. Tomorrow between 5 a.m. and 6 p.m. I'm going to play the game in reverse. Doesn't say much. Not pro, but the stream is very enjoyable. Thank you very much. I, I do try to talk, but I was just kind of, you know, sometimes when there's cutscenes and that, I kind of leave it. There's Bonnie coming, but there's Bonnie now, balls. Follow Charles. He's a good one to sniff out trouble. Stick next to the dog, mister. Don't Charlie. Oh, we really set the building on fire there. <laughs> Back again, anyway. Show me where he is. to the forms office. <laughs> One job, shoot and kill. Twins out for in entry entry update. It's sweet, right? Can I get pony, pony, pony? Hola. I've got to go back to my bed.
At least I didn't kill the dog. <laughs> I like little doggies. <sighs> Women and cattle. Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. Uh, I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk to Mr. Give it do you do that? I wonder, is a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. Call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. We're going to be playing that in now, a couple months. If I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. No. I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on a boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, You'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. What's wrong with haggis? He hated the English for what they had done. To What's wrong with kilts? He'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgotten. Bionic has it right, Vicky. Especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in bar fights south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute and he was her, well, I don't, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What Happy a days. Life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read. Taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Uh, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Mark. It is. It's lovely. Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd for pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. Mount your horse. All right, let's head over to the cow pen. It's about time a budding farmer such as yourself learned how to herd cattle. Yay. Thank you for telling me all that back there. It must have been hard for you. I hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're, they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. Yeah, how, how dare the Vicky? Haggis is lovely. How are you, Miss McFarland? Whoa there! 
us get behind the fuse. What? Oh, <laughs> I did not touch a lantern. about a corral for them rather than just let them roam. I rode into him. I didn't see that. You're not that at the herd. Ranching might be your true calling, Mr. Marston. Either that or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Mrs. McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the range. I'm gonna need dollars. Coast is the safest way to travel around these parts. Yes, sir. How do we get in? Where do you want to go? Uh, I'm going to Armadillo. Feel free to go to sleep in there, sir. I need to get some rest. Wake me up when we arrive. Uncle R Romelo, uh, what is the thing is Rockstar's best game? Oh. Story wise, uh, or gameplay wise. Um, Jesus! I 
I do like the story of GTA 5, I must admit. Even though I've not finished it. Um, that's hard. I do like this as well. San Andreas, yes, that's that's another one. I like four. Since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. Right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place in the region. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridge Ridge. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's going to be a bloody job. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. I don't think so. Is there stuff echoing, is it? How about now? Is that better? Carson, I hear you caught up with Mr. West chicken. I did. For a man who claimed to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East. The result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea <coughs> out of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. <coughs> He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. Look at them vultures circling up ahead. I see them. Carson, you and Eli go check it out. Survivors here, Marshal. Wouldn't let me loot them. Man, this don't look too good. I don't. Th I, I don't know, Uncle Melo. Somebody was so busy killing people they wouldn't, wouldn't have thought so. Their gun. Not on that. We. Still I think it's this land that makes the men. As much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're born. At least that's how I see it. Who could have done such a thing? Any number of people. Especially now the word's out we're cleaning up the county. Between Walton's boys and the rustlers, we've been spilling a lot of blood. Man gets more evil when he's running scared. Good partial. Four vultures. All right, let's go check it out. Sometimes if I've got it too loud in my ears, it seems Man, to pick up from the microphone. Or the fire it's still smoking. Well, picking up from the desktop. I don't know why. Listen, my stream's not. It would be doubled if it was. Let's pound leather, boys. Looks like they're headed for Ridgewood Farm. Sons of bitches! Think you want to run a gang of outlaws? Nobody's in the 
shit! There's no good reason for that to be boarded up. Come on, John. Shoot that door open. Sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> so the bandits didn't hear us shooting the, shooting the doors. All right, boys, we need to get into that house right now. I'll kill you. Enjoy this! There's a deputy waiting for you in the shed out back. Make a run for it when it's clear. I'm gonna rip you in hell, Oh, Keep your head down. Thank you. I was convinced I was dead. Right. It's time. Make a break for the shed when the coast is clear. There'll be a deputy waiting for you. Thank you. They said they were gonna kill us all. Look like that's all of them. Let's see how the hostages are doing. Slow 
doing some little looting. Oh, I've still got I've still got uh, Assassin's Creed oranges. To be fair, I haven't played it since the last time I streamed it. Right. Um, some shit in them days. Stop me. You know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! See you again, buddy. I wonder if you should be the gang. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! <coughs> Hog time. Let's get him to jail. Victor. 
the spoil. Are we allowed to cuss? Well, it depends. Uh, I would say yes, because I swear, but uh, my little bot doesn't like doesn't like some words. <laughs> Hello, Wolf Rider. Anyway, how are you? You subscribed on the 22nd. And I can tell you, with no uncertainty, that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you good day, sir. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, Doesn't like the word good to see you. How are you doing? I'm language. well, Mr. Boomtish. Mr. West Dickens, Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap, London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. At everyone's service, at the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Hmm? Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then, they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just two dollars an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir. I do a bulk discount rate of 195 an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy 100 ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, Patico, boy. Patico, 135. Thank you very much for the follow. It's uh, awesome. High five. How are you? Um, listen, Marston, I'm broke. But this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along, and let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Okay. <laughs> All right, John. 
Let us make haste for Ridgewood Farm. speak for themselves. My thousands of happy customers attest to that. Stay on the road! We're going to destroy the merchandise! Those men trying to kill you didn't look so happy. If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine battle in which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocking at death door. You should thank the doctor for that. I reckon you were acting it up worse than it was. Act I can, John. More convincing Othello there has never been. And so Still no good skyline. There, yeah. Iago or Cassio make. I don't like the sound of this. Showmanship, John. The flourish. The bow. We are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our product must stand out. And how does this involve me? We're going to use your God-given talents to our advantage. I'm really starting to regret I'll drop you off at the outskirts of Ridgewood. That way, it won't look like we came together. Once I'm set up, saunter nonchalantly into the crowd that is sure to be forming. Eventually, I will call you up to try my tonic. After extolling the virtues, I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the fleeing public. Such as? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary for a man in your line of work, I assure you. So it is all a sham. No, no, just a little innocent ballyhoo to grease the wheels of enterprise. That's all. Do you think that buxom young girl you see on the Voyage camera posters knows the first thing about photography? Advertising, my boy, is the future. You best be a man of your word. Best you alike here, dear boy, so no one sees us arriving together. Okay, no one sees us arriving together. I'll see you there. Be ready to enchant the crowd. I, I've got to Mexico. Yeah, I have, I've played this already on the 360, but it's a long, long time ago. I remember carriage, there was carriage racing, but... Uh, I don't really remember an awful lot of story because I never finished it. I remember there is a guy called Irish and there's a... Like some dead bodies or something. Hardworking souls of Chola Springs. Gather round, gather round. Do you suffer from rheumatism? Lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain. Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backache, swelling, sprains, sore chest, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves. Stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> but can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who can prove the qualities of it by... Take a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. 
Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today, science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. Make sure I get it right. Is still adjusting to his powerful new eyes. <laughs> oh, missed it. The <laughs> tonic may still be taking hold. Charlatan! Remarkable! The eyesight of an eagle, granted by imbibing Dr. Westicken's own patent tonic. Anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. If your eyes so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? My friends, our test case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. You can fool easy, but you ain't fooling me. Right. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Yeah, moving target. I'll be good with that. Here it comes. Get your weapon at the ready. Go home! Have you ever seen such an eye? Behold the power of the elixir plucked out of the sky. Hey! Hey! What? You think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away? Do you? They don't work like that. Come on! Are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has been offered to our volunteer. Let the battle commence! <laughs> you want a broken nose, friend? Let's see what you got! The power of an ox! Come to a <coughs> Do not let this well, I, I believe the punching mechanics are a bit better than the new one, hopefully. Look, he's over there. Go get this him. Ends now. Watch out! He's got a gun! Who the hell do you think you are? You ain't leaving here alive. Oh, hey, a marvelous shot, dear boy! The kind of deadly accuracy that can only be afforded by the West Dickens elixir. Come, I have plenty for all. Let's get, let's get it doing ourselves. No harm in trying one bottle, I suppose. Well, I think that went kind of well, don't you? I'm just glad that my normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murder. Please don't let me do that again. Not the you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. We're doing the demonstration in the same place where all these people got and, uh, I think I may have an murdered. Idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks burying gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. I didn't come across this a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. He's a most often found at Coote's Chapel. He's very devout. Why see him? Because
because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! Yeah.